Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. First, uh, let me apologize for being late only one hour, which is nothing for an Arab guy. Usually we are Arab, we are late a century, a thousand year, cave time. So one hour, you can't even count it. You know, it's like it's like a second for the Arab. And as long as I'm an Arab, I think I'm already excused and nobody can blame me for being late only one hour. That is not, that's fantastic actually. Actually, according to the record, I am the best between the Arab in keeping the time by being one hour late only. So thank, I cannot say thank God, I have to say thank Allah. Thank Allah for being perfect in everything. Unbelievable. I mean, I got the perfection in everything. I mean, perfect in timing. I mean, that's amazing. Hmm? Uh, so, uh, I, yeah, actually, I, I forgot totally that I, because usually I schedule it uh, like later, you know, I forgot totally that I schedule it early. I said to myself, oh, let me go early today. But I forgot totally, you know, I was in a, uh, in a phone call with a friend um, and the uh, time conversation took me over the time so anyway uh, thank you for being here and even waiting for see not many people here people are left we have only 217 people uh, as you see uh, the the topic is profit with no one single true prophecy Muhammad. This is what the Christians they claim, but the fact Prophet Muhammad have a lot of prophecies. I mean, it's endless. I cannot even count for you how many prophecies Muhammad he made. It's true that none of them come to be true, but who said it's necessarily to be a prophet to have one of them to come true? That is not really necessarily. Not for the Arab. Because we as Arab, we have different point of view of something called the prophecy. You know, uh, I will explain to you. I will use it in Arabian way, you know, because most of you are ignorant. You do not know good. Your English is funny anyway. I mean, you don't speak Arabic. You don't know English. And I know this is coming and you don't know Hebrew. I mean, what's wrong with you? I don't know. So. Based in what we said, that you guys are ignorant and you do not know what I'm talking about, I have to teach you some logic. Why it's not important for a prophet to have any correct prophecy in the Arabian uh, 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 logic. Look at the word prophecy. Oh, what is that? I'm copying a link. What I was copying. Huh. Look, when I copy the word prophecy, Okay, forget about this. Pro Fessy Pro in English mean or bro pro in English like he's a professional. Fessy in Arabic means fart, which mean for me as an Arab, in order to accept you as a prophet, you have to be a fart bra or a fart professional. Have nothing to do with you being saying something and it happen. I know it's very hard for you to understand this logic, because as I said, most of you are ignorant. You don't even know Arabic, neither English, neither on your own own language, and most of you. In the, in the best scenario, you have a PhD, which is nothing, you know, because we are, we passed the PhD. Actually, even PhD, it is something we created, you know. If you, let me teach you something extra today, for the benefit of you. I mean, at least your parents will be proud about you. You are not watching cartoon and wasting your time as usual. PhD. Hmm? PhD actually is a summarize of the name of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because all knowledge in the world is coming from Prophet Muhammad look how many letters they are coming from the name of the Prophet PhD 
the last name the last letter in the name of the prophet is D hmm? the one in the middle is H and the first letter is about him being prophet so even your knowledge is about uh, 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 you know a PhD whatever PhD is and even in you if it's about nuke or uh, coronavirus you know by the way coronavirus is uh, we know how to fix it you know well, this is why you know we don't have any coronavirus we kill it you know uh, not like you know those uh, people they are crazy they don't know what to do with coronavirus why because they don't have the knowledge of Allah uh, <clears throat> So, uh, you know, I'm trying to be easy on you because I know that the news we are telling you is shocking for you. You think you have advanced knowledge, etc. You think uh, they told you that Prophet Muhammad, he is not a true prophet, which is a lie. Prophet Muhammad, he is true prophet. And he prophesied that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If the, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And this is very true. And the proof is me. The proof is me. I asked my dad. Hey dad, when you do what you did with my mom, he said, boy, respect yourself. Don't talk like this. I said, come on, dad, this is science. This is science and religion. When you did what you did, you and my mom, you know, uh, in the night you made me, you know, who have orgasm first? He said, me. He said, I said, see. See. See, senor. Yeah, because my daddy is an Arab. But, you know, somehow he think he's Mexican. So I told him, see, senor, Prophet Muhammad, he told the truth. And even my mom, she was like, wow. You know, this is why she became a Hindu after she, she heard this uh, about Prophet Muhammad. That how he knew. So she was convinced that the Prophet is so true to the point she decided to accept Hinduism. So there is many ways to to understand that Prophet Muhammad is full of it. I mean science. I mean Prophet Muhammad when he walked, my friend, science drip. You know how, how to drip? It drip from him. Science. But there are some people they, they honey drip from them, uh, money drip from them. You can imagine. You, you just use your imagination. All right. But Prophet Muhammad when he walked, science drip from all over. When he talk, science is coming from all over, even when he sneezes. Actually, according to uh, uh, a very well-known scientific uh, organization, it's called FASA, uh, they said that Prophet Muhammad, his sneeze, contain all the secrets exist in this earth and in the heaven. They, did, they took some of his sneezing, you know, and they analyze it, they study it, you know, they found that there's inside a special kind of DNA. Uh, many ignorant people like you. <laughs> anyway, crazy people, Christian, Kuffar, infidels. Uh, you do not know that in the sneezing of someone, he is a prophet, because sneezing of a prophet is different from a sneezing from someone like you and me. They sneeze backward, you know, it's not like forward. So when he sneezes, his head go back. You, when you sneeze, your head go front. The reason his head go back, backward, because there's a pressure of knowledge in the DNA of his sneezing. And by the way, this is all is proving to be accurate. If you don't believe me, you can read my books and you can see a lot of sneezing there. I mean, uh, I mean knowledge, you know, in case you are interested in uh, some uh, sneezing. Um, uh, some knowledge so prophet muhammad he is above the questioning there's nobody there's nobody can question prophet muhammad nobody i never actually saw a person dare to question prophet muhammad not because al-qaeda they will kill him or because you will lose your head no 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 this is not the reason you know uh, this is not the reason but how you how you can question such a genius you know in order to question a, ge a genius you have to be a genius too Actually, even the word genius is, in, uh, you know, is coming from Islam. A prophet Muhammad, he was a genie and yes. You know, like 
just to explain to you what you guys are not really the problem if you are not um, uh, following the Prophet Muhammad you are not in the level to understand but it's okay uh, may Allah forgive you so Prophet Muhammad he is a genius because when the genie they saw him first time they saw his knowledge and they heard his Quran what the genie did the genie he said yes which means he accepted Islam he converted to Islam this is why the word genius is coming from genius and this is uh, proving to be uh, you know I mean you can open any dictionary uh, especially if it's made by Muslims you will see it all right now I can show you from the Quran by the way that the Prophet when he recited the Quran to the genie yes they said uh, they said yes you know and they accepted Islam and they converted which is a true you know it's not like uh, something we are making the story up uh, uh, let us see the genius example <clears throat> I'm sure many many of you learned a lot of things in the last 15 minutes and I don't blame you uh, to go crazy when you hear this because it's uh, it's beyond uh, your understanding your level you know you see all those verses in the Quran uh, speaking about the genies too bad uh, you know I did not uh, post uh, in uh, Instagram because I was late so I wanted to log in right away here in chapter 46 verse number 29 says behold we turn towards thee a company of genie do you see it company of genie they heard the Prophet Muhammad reciting Quran like it was like the genie like what is that did you hear that like the genie was like and suddenly he heard the beautiful recitation for the Quran the genie stopped he froze like what the heck is that He asked the genie next to him, did you eat beans? The guy, he said, no. The other guy after him, he says, did you do anything? He said, no. He said, so what is that? And then they listen, they are company, they are group. They are not like one, two, three, four, like count with me, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, listening to the Quran. And when they stood in the presence, therefore they said, listen, listen in silence, like shut up everybody, we want to hear it. And when the reading was finished, like finished, you know what finished mean? Like your boy, you finished. Your, your, your boy is finished. You know, they returned to their people to warn them of their sins. <laughs> the genie here, Quran, not only he became a Muslim, he became a missionary. A missionary genie and this is very normal by the way actually if you see me I'm a missionary too and I look like a genie actually I look more horrible that's why I'm still single Last time I proposed to a woman, I said, do you like to uh, uh, get rid of me? I mean, uh, marry me. She said, like, why? There's no uh, men or genie left in this earth? You know, like, like what? Like, hello? Actually, she considered it like an insult or something, you know? So, it's true. 
the prophet he is not a prophet only for mankind he's a prophet for the genie but hold on is it the Quran he said that we send the prophet Muhammad for the people of Mecca and the tongue of people of Mecca and now we notice that he's a genie with the, because if the Quran is saying that the prophet he is sent to the people and he is from the people so if he is a prophet for the genie that means prophet Muhammad was a genie and I was wondering why the prophet is so smart and why the prophet he have the power of 40 men in boom boom Now I know. Based in this verse, Prophet Muhammad is a prophet for the genie. And look, the verses after that actually they confirm this because look, they said, Oh, our people, we have heard the book of revealed after Moses, confirming what a hold on, hold on, hold on. A book revealed after Moses. Okay, I forgot to tell you that those genies, they did not go through the era of Jesus. They were in vacation. So look like between Muhammad and Musa, there's nobody. So a book revealed after Musa. Aha! Whatever the Messiah, he goes, there is no genie. They run away. This is why they could not hear him. They didn't even know about him. They didn't see him. So you heard a book after revealed after Moses. What about the, this? If this is the case, that means this is the Injil. This is the book of Jesus. Oh boy. So are we talking about the Quran here? We're talking about the Injil. The Quran is a book came after Moses. And this is convincing me that the one who wrote this Quran, his name is Genius. Which in the world today they say genius. You know, there's there's two kinds of genie. There's genie uh, uh, no. And genie is genius. Now, genie, no. If you go to the Philippines, you will see the airport name is called Nonoy. But once I ask a Filipino guy, What's your name? He says, No, no, sir. So, what the heck with this guy? Why he would not tell me his name? I said, What's your name? And no, no, sir. I said, Man, what, uh, what do you mean? No, no. Why you are saying, I'm asking you, What's your name? No, no, sir. And I could not understand that this is coming from the genie, no. Because as I said, there's genius and his name is No Noi, you know. But if you when you hear it, it says sound like No No. Okay. And the more you go in knowledge with genius and genie no, the more you understand the logic and the languages and the culture. Hmm. Uh, do, do we have any Filipinos here? By the way, in the Philippines, there's a lot of Filipinos. You will not believe it. I, I got crazy when I was there. I, I was scared, actually. You go in the airport, Filipinos. In the mall, Filipinos. I'm, I'm serious. And actually, I prophesy before I go to the Philippines that there's a lot of Filipinos. But I wasn't really accepting the idea that there's that, that much Filipinos in the Philippines. There was more Filipino in the Philippines, more than was like, uh, you know, uh, Filipino in uh, uh, like uh, Qatar. Unbelievable. You're a Pinoy? Okay. <clears throat> Look, we have, we have many Filipinos here. Thank God they are not here because if you give them the microphone, they will start singing karaoke. They are the best of singing. Like I don't know. I think Filipinos are born are born to burn, born to sing. Not like us Arab. We are born to shoot. <laughs> Everybody is born for a reason. You know, <laughs> they have their reason and we have our reason. You know, we are very peaceful people. Not like Filipinos. Uh, Filipinos are very nice people. They are very uh, peaceful, and they are very very kind people. Actually, they are lucky. 
uh, anyway, we go back to the topic. I'm, why are you, why are even I'm talking about the Filipino? The reason I'm talking about Filipinos because I'm telling you, listening to Prophet Muhammad, how what he did to me, he, he made me a person suffering from a flight of thought. So one day, one second, in I am in the east, and the other side is the second I am in China or in Philippines. Unbelievable. Do we have any Muslim, any Muhammadan who don't agree with me? Anyone? Do you believe jinn Muslim? No, no, a genie is a lie. What genie? There's nothing that's called genie. Many Christians, they are confused. They think the Muslim, when they believe in genie, it's a demon. No, genie is not a demon. Do we have any Muhammadan here? You want to say anything? So, like... Don't jump between topics. You see, the problem is about jumping between topics. I don't jump between topics. I jump over them. I have a, I have the logic of Muhammadan. You ask a Muhammadan, can you show me any proof that the Quran is from God? He say to you, the Bible is corrupted. You see, I don't jump between topics. I learn from Muslim. We jump over them. This is why we are the best of jumping over problem. We don't solve the problem. We jump over them. Like now, Corona is coming to the Middle East. What the Arab they do? They jump over Corona. You see? So, and what they do? When they jump over Corona, look how smart. We are not touching Corona. We are jumping over it. And Corona stay like looking for victims. But they can't find anybody because we are all jumping. Like, jump, jump, jump. we keep jumping, like, you know, from left to right. And Corona is looking like, okay, who's going to be my victim? This is why Corona is not successful in the Middle East, the same as it's successful in uh, uh, in uh, Italy because they eat pizza. Pizza is a crime. No. <clears throat> uh, by the way, uh, pizza. We are the first ones who made pizza, the Arab, uh, because the real. Uh, uh, okay, let, let me exp explain to you where where the Italian they took the uh, pizza from us. Okay. I don't know if it. I don't know if actually why I'm giving giving you all this priceless information for free. I, I should charge you for it. I should open like a class of history, and uh, just share it with only uh, a chosen uh, student. You know, because uh, I don't think you guys you even you can comprehend. Anyway, if you look at the uh, pizza, let us uh, let us make a, a pizza. <clears throat> okay, this is one slice of pizza. Correct, and this is the whole pizza. I'm sure nobody understands anything yet because you are very slow, and you are out of this earth. I mean, like, what's wrong with you? Look, the pizza when you cut it off into pieces, it became. P and Sa. In Arabic, the word is bait. Bait, not bait for a fish. But I, by the way, it have a connection. But later we'll talk about it. Bait. Uh, what is that? Bait. Bait is not really an Arabic word. It is coming from the Aramaic, which is used in Hebrew too. That's why we say bait laham. Uh, bait mean a house. Okay. So the first person who made the pizza, he made it in his house. And then the word za is coming from the word Arabic ida. Now, I don't have really my keyboard. My keyboard is not really an Arab keyboard, so I don't know if I can write the word correctly in the screen. But let us try. Yeah, there is there is no, uh, yeah, it's not coming really correctly very well. There is a hamza here. But anyway, 
Beat Ida. The guy who made the pizza in his house, his name is Ida. Ida mean if. Why they call him if? Because this guy, he never do something unless he say, if I do it, you buy it? You know what I mean? So if I make pizza, you buy it? So the people, they learn that he make pizza in his house. It's house mean bait. And he don't make it unless he say either, which means if you want to buy it. And this is how the word pizza became if is a. Pizza. Make sense, right? Exactly, brother. Actually, I can call Zachary Nike for you and he can confirm all this information. First of all, I cannot talk to you right now. Uh, just uh, Zachary Nike, how you know it's a Christian Prince? I changed my number. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. The other one, the number you think. I know you. Okay. Do you know I'm talking about what? I know Ducky. No way. How you can know? You are talking about pizza. If, 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 if. How you know I'm talking about pizza, man? Because I'm hungry. And always when I'm hungry, you talk me. And you call me. And I'm eating pizza right now. Uh, uh, Zach and Nick, do you know that the first one who made pizza is an Arab? Exactly. And he's a Muslim. Uh, no, I did not say he's a Muslim. I said he's an Arab. Great Prince, don't lie. He is a Muslim and he was worshipping Jesus as God. He is an Arab and was worshipping Jesus as God? Exactly. And he is a Muslim? Exactly. Um, you, you know, Zakir, did they add anything to the pizza you are eating today? Exactly. They add something to the pizza, it's called Hasith. And I enjoy it. It's kind of like a very nice, tasty Hasith. So you are eating drugs with the pizza. Get the prince, I don't take drugs. I said I'm eating hasith with the pizza. Okay, uh as I connect, thank you for your help. Look like we're calling you in the wrong time. And uh have a have a great day with your pizza. Get the prince. Actually, I want to say something to you because the pizza is inspiring me. Uh okay. I noticed lately that you are not being smart as before. That's true. You can say that. And I noticed lately that even the Christian listen to you, they don't listen to you with two ears. Um, I'm not sure about that. Exactly, because you are not listening. Did you see in the text somebody said to you, only one speaker is working? Uh, yeah, I saw that. Exactly, that means they don't listen to you with two ears. Only one speaker is listening. And that means all your work is the waste of time and nobody is listening, only one speaker. And those are Christian, because we are Muslim, if not two speakers working, nothing work. Well, you know, Zach and Nike, you get a point. I mean, look, calling you about uh, pizza and we ain't talking about one speaker. And uh, if we don't uh, hear from two ears, we will not listen. And that will not, that's disappointing. Exactly. So don't waste your time and get lost. You hang up? Zachar, he hang up. Sorry, guys. Uh, Zachar Nike was like in, not in the mood to speak to us today, and looked like he is not happy for some reason. Uh, it had connection with the pizza, and uh, eh, I mean, things happen. And you get a point, sister. Now, going back to the topic, any Muslim here is willing to show us one prophecy the prophet he said come to be true. Anyone? Anyone can show us one thing your prophet he said is come to be true. Okay, forget about anyone because any anyone it's hard. Any winny? See you have to spoil them. Any winny? Any winny, he can show us something. The prophet said it came to be true. <clears throat> no? <clears throat> uh, 
I know I'm really disappointed. I thought I will find a lot of uh, Muslims. They will be fighting over to, uh, you know. No? I'm waiting. Nobody, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, da da da. Nobody, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, nobody, no. Nobody knew. <laughs> I just remember something. I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, sometimes singing help. It releases your stress. I don't know how I'm going to deliver this message to you now. Let us see. I'm going to do it step by step. I'm just looking for a picture to explain to you what's going to happen. <clears throat> All right. Let us see this one. We found the picture finally. Let us see who of you is going to discover what I'm going to say next. Base in the image you will see. What this have to do with my coming statement. Anyone can tell me. And by the way, this is will tell us how clear Muhammad is a prophet. Anyone have an idea? Who want to guess? Iron? Neil and Coffin? Neil and Hammer? I mean, in the picture there's Neil and Hammer, so you are telling me I will talk about Neil and Hammer. Hello? I mean, you must be genius to know. I mean, like, that's, you must be the love guru. Huh? Uh, anyone? Okay, well, I'm not going to make you wait for long. The punishment of the grave, you are getting close, but not necessarily. You see, Muhammad, he was not in the time of Prophet Abraham, which means anything he say at the time of the Prophet Abraham, that's mean it's a prophecy. Prophet Abraham, he circumcised himself. 
But do you know that he used a hammer to circumcise himself? Do you know that? He used a hammer to circumcise himself. A hammer. Why? His private part was made of steel. Like hello? Hello? It's you I'm looking for. Hey, Prophet Abraham, what's your... Uh, <coughs> Prophet Abraham, what is that, man? MashaAllah, this is so... What is that? I don't think my hammer will work with it. I need this. I need any need sledge uh, uh, hammer. Not only a hammer. Actually, I need a bulldozer. You know what? I do not need a bulldozer. I need a a, a tank. I, I don't. I, I need a missile. Is that true, Muslims? That Prophet Abraham, he used a hammer to slash his penis. I just remember it, by the way, you know, so like I was, the idea, came, I was looking at pictures, actually, I'm looking at pictures, and then in the other browser, and then the hammer appeared, my friend, in front of my head, in my face, and said, okay, but the hammer there, it was so small, and this, I decided to look for a bigger, actually, I want bigger than this one, because this is not really, it doesn't fit, it's not really the hammer I want, we want something bigger, like big, big, big hammer. Yeah, we want a bigger hammer, but I don't know. All those hammers here are not really... Mm, yeah, they have limited pictures here. But anyway, it's bigger than the one in the other picture. Now let us go and see how the Prophet Muhammad, he make things clear. La 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 la. Allah Apostle said, Allah Apostle said, said what? The Prophet Abraham circumcised himself after he had passed the age of 80 years, and he circumcised himself with Adzi. What Adzi? Arabic, Al Qudum, is the hammer. Is that the same? Let me translate this word. I don't know what Adzi means. In English, to be honest with you, oh, this is actually this is this is more perfect. This is, but it's big. It's have to be big, you know. So this is how Prophet Abraham he circumcised himself, brother. Why? Why it's hard for you to believe? I mean, what's wrong with you, you kuffar infidels? What is the problem exactly? I mean, what's wrong with you? It makes sense. It's very logical. And uh, scientifically accurate. Who is a Muslim, and this is Sahih Bukhari, they cannot say it's weak, you know. Who is a Muslim agree with this? I mean, why he used this hammer to cut his... <clears throat> the guy is, there's no knives there, there's a hammer. Like, aren't you, uh, Musa, sorry, uh, Abraham, aren't you afraid to miss a little bit? Aren't you afraid to miss, like, your hand move? I mean, how you can be sure you are cutting the exact part which is the piece of skin? I think a prophet Abraham, he was doing yoga. He sit and he's like, his uh, <clears throat> go like, uh, and then like, you know, the same in the, like in the Chinese movies. The Chinese, by the way, are my cousin, like, ching. And then he cut the mosquito by the sword two pieces, exactly half. And she's a mosquito. By the way, mosquito, in case you do not know, this is an Arabic word. Coming from the word miss, 
Keto. Not like this, write it to you in Arabic, in English. They lie to you. This is wrong it's, uh, pronunciation. Mosquito, it is an Arabic word, you know. We're like, you know, we Arab, when we find a woman, she is so skinny, we call her miss. And because she is so skinny, she so sound like Japanese, we call her keto. You know? And uh, 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 Miss Kito, by the way, she didn't know how to use the hammer. Only Prophet Abraham, he knew how to use it. Yeah, it doesn't say that, CP. How Prophet Muhammad, if he is not a prophet, he will know that Prophet Abraham, he used a hammer to circumcise. I mean, why he did not say a Caesar? Huh? Look, Prophet Muhammad is very honest. He knew exactly what he was there. As if he was he was watching. I am not going to guess in any way, in any mean. How this thing happened, because it's true. It's proven to be true. And there's we are not questioning, by the way, if this is true or not. For this must be true. The only uh, thing I can question, actually, is when he hit himself with the hammer, what Prophet Abraham he said any Muslim have an idea I mean what how he screamed did he scream did he put something in his mouth like well no no did you what do you think I'm just using my imagination by the way this is very easy to do I mean just to grab the thing and hit the thing and then the thing will cut off it's like cutting sausages, you know. And if this is not enough to prove to you that Prophet Muhammad is a prophet, I mean, what else can prove it to you? You know, you go to those uh, comedy shows, uh, stupid idea, like they wait for you a recording of people laughing, you know. Yeah, but this is, but this is fake. This is fake. This is not true. When you hear the Prophet Muhammad, you love from your heart. Uh, this is the sound of the heart, by the way. Boing, you know. Prophet Muhammad, anything he say, it is extremely serious and true. And it's coming from the heart of his prophethood. Uh, I'm not talking about the manhood now. I'm talking about prophet because he's, he, and by the way, he have a special inspiration about like things in the down, you know, down there if Muhammad is not a prophet how he knew that prophet Abraham he cut his private part by a hammer <laughs> mm, what a fake laugh fake trying to make fun of true story More fake, disgusting. <laughs> Stupid people, show sure respect. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I feel for you. I really feel sorry for you. A bunch of ignorant, all of you. Here you see that Abraham was too much connected to high technology. And he have ads at that time. And they don't use it at that time to make word known. They use it for cutting their private part.
Do we have any Muslim, any Muhammadan have a comment? Anyone? I bet CP laugh at his own jokes. <laughs> you crazy. I'm not making jokes. I'm speaking serious. You crazy people. Do you think I'm joking? It's in front of you. Uh, now, we will, okay, now we will go to the Muslim channel. You see, now I will, I, I will, I will the Muslim. Brothers, sisters, Christian Prince is a liar. It doesn't say that, CP. It doesn't say he circumcised himself by ads. This is the wrong word. It says he circumcised himself by sledgehammer. Ah, oh, okay. CP, prophet did not have sex with his wife every day. It was in a day. Ah, oh, okay. Makes sense. Hmm. Any Muhammadan have any comment? Now, how many how many of you save the reference? Anyone save the reference? This is Sahih al Bukhari, Hadith number six two nine eight. How many of you here are new first time? If you are new here first time, I advise you to leave immediately. Because you will be addicted and then you will not leave easy. And according to science, that is not allowed for 500 people, especially if you are from China or Korea, to be with us right now because you will bring Corona. Hello? Or Italian? Are you crazy people? Don't you know that the crowd is not a good thing with Corona? And you are lined up like next to each other, like look at the chat. Aren't you afraid of Corona? However, me as an Arab, I am not afraid of Corona because I have a hammer, the one Prophet Abraham, he slashed his penis with it. If Corona infected me in that area, that's it. And I'm clear. If Corona infected in my nose, and that's it, I'm clear. If Corona infected me in my throat, and that's it, I'm clear. That's amazing. Any Muhammadan? Hmm. Actually, uh, I cannot stay long with you guys. I'm going to make the video short, but I might come back later at night because really I have some work to do. And uh, to be honest with you, I need to go and buy a hammer. Can you show us the photo of the ads? Yeah, I can show you, no problem, you know. You know, you go here in the Google. <clears throat> this is how it is over there. You know and I think at that time the it was bigger like you know it was like uh, this is a small one I don't think a prophet Abraham he would accept to use such a thing I think like in his time it was maybe like well, 1,000 kilogram or something Th this one this one sound like more authentic because it's old one you know Well, I want to get uh, circumcised, you know, some come, come some concise sides, you know, some concise. 
right? I think all of you should practice this. Disclaimer, disclaimer, YouTube, they will say he's encouraging people to cut their penis. I'm not, hello, I did not, I'm just joking. You know this YouTube, crazy. Any Muhammadan? Look, 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 look. This guy, he was trying to circumcise himself, but by mistake, he was cutting the tree. He's cutting the wood. Look, this guy, he's doing the same too. He was trying to circumcise himself, but he forgot to put his private part there, so he hit the tree. Don't do it this way. Okay, I will teach you how to do it. You put your private part in the tree, as you see here. <clears throat> and then you lift your hand up and you have to focus. Okay, you have to have sharp eyes. Otherwise, you might miss the target and cut the whole thing, especially if it's so small. In the case of a prophet Abraham, he was not worried really about missing the target. Even if he like he lost like 20 inch. I mean, what a 20 inch after, uh, out of 10 meter. I mean, <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> this is what circumcision for This is why you are crazy. Like you're saying like, what the heck, what? What? At that time, brother, it's big. It was so big. Very big. So he can miss the target. Still, it's empty there. Like, there's only skin. Like, the first, I think that the first two foot is just a skin. So he have no worry. All right. I'm not going to stay long really I have to go I apologize again because I was planning to stay the time all like for two hours but uh, I have to go because before this store close so I want to say thank you guys for being here and uh, if you like to read more about Islam forget uh, forget about my hammer go and go and get my books uh, they are um, they, they are more hemorrhage more than this hammer <laughs> And they can teach you a lot of information. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, you remember the Prophet Muhammad never lie. He's still always the truth and never, never lie. And this is this is the nature of a prophet. All prophets are very, very truthful and they don't really lie. And this is the story. Uh, prophet Muhammad is just another example. Thank you guys for being here. Maybe see you again, maybe tonight, tonight, later. I will try. If not, tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. Christ is Lord. And Islam made by a dummy for the dummy. Thank you.